Watching the morning show from your local news leader. Activated. Or until it's... Speaking of activation, we are <laughs> reactivating Chemist Corner this morning with Jesse Miller from the <laughs> University of Illinois. All right, we talked about uh, cold packs earlier. Don't touch that. Don't don't bang the table. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to back up or something. Take a few steps back here. So we were talking very about careful with those cold beers. packs <laughs> earlier, which we might need if we bump the table too hard. And now we're talking about uh, warm pads. Some yeah. of those things that you know, we keep yeah. them in our pockets in the winter. I use hand them warmers and things all the like time. that. Sure. Right. Now, there's different types of hand warmers that are out there. Um, uh, but uh, one of the types that I'm going to talk about is, is an actual chemical reaction. They have types that you can boil. Mm -hmm. and then and reset it so you can use it over and over again. A lot of, a lot of uh, hand warmers, you use them once and they're done because the chemical reaction goes one direction and then it's done. But this type that I'm going to talk about with the, uh, with the sodium acetate, I can't even remember it. Anyway, sodium acetate, you, you actually can get it to go back and forth. And oh. I'm going to show that here. And huh. this works on a principle, it's a super saturated solution. So what I was doing earlier that people didn't see but you guys knew I was doing it, I was boiling the solution, and I was getting it so that the, uh, the uh, this sodium acetate only a certain amount will go in at room temperature, but if you heat it up, a lot more will go into it. So you, you put a whole bunch in there, you heat it up so it goes all in the solution, and then you let it cool down. And now it's ready. It wants to crash out, so to speak. I know I don't like to anthropomorphize. What does things, it mean to crash out? Well, you're going to see in a second. It's when you're oh. really, really okay. tired. It's going to crystallize. Yeah. That's right. It's going to it's going to crystallize. Okay. Now this has to go uh, once again with that that entropy thing, and we'll talk about that for a second. But this is a super saturated solution. And just about anything will cause it to off, to crystallize really quickly, and hopefully, if it's cooled down enough, because we're going on a little bit earlier. So I get some seed crystals in here, and as I pour this out. It's not going to explode, I swear. Whoa! As it, as it huh. pulls out, you can see <gasps> that it's starting to, well, not starting to, it's instantly Whoa. crystallizing and forming this little mound there. Now, okay, if you, if you feel this, go ahead. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's, oh, not, it's, warm. it's not very hot, but it's very warm, okay? And this is, this is how this type of hand warmer works, is that you, you heat it up, you get it to go into solution, and then it usually has a little clicker in there. Now, I had some crystals on the bottom here to cause it to, uh, to give it a place to nucleate. A lot of times, they'll have a little disc in there that you're supposed to click, and that right. sound vibration causes that start, that start of the crystallization, oh, and then it instantly oh. crystallizes. I don't know not instantly, but it. very quickly, as you sure. can see, crystallizes. Now, the reason why it gets warm is not because I boiled it, it's at room temperature at that time. The reason why it gets warm is that, once again, that, that, that uh, thermodynamic property mm -hmm. that we were talking about before. In this case, you have an entropy change that's actually getting smaller because it's going from a liquid to a solid. That's usually a negative entropy change. And we said in, those, in, 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 the, uh, in the thermodynamics, you, you, the, in order for a reaction to be spontaneous, usually the entropy is positive. Right. In this case, it's negative. So we need something to offset that for it to be spontaneous. In this case, it gives off heat, hmm. okay? And, and, and gives off heat to the surroundings. Is it still hot? Yeah, it's still warm. It'll stay warm for quite some time, huh. okay? So, but what's this for then? That's the same one. I did it twice just in case I oh, okay. accidentally bumped okay. the counter and, and made it. Turned to, it into and, goop and oh, See, we could, we okay. could just bump it here and it, it should, I may have to drop a crystal in just a second. So my question would be then why why doesn't it release all of the energy at once, a heat, burst of heat, and then it's cold? Why does it happen over time? Because those warm well, pads stay warm for a while. That is true. There we go. You get a shot of that. You Whoa, can see that's it. crazy. The Whoa. crystal forming. It's kind of pretty. Um, but to answer your question, uh. it, has to do, it has to do with specific heat and its heat capacity, mm -hmm. as we call it, the heat, heat capacity of a liquid. Water holds in a lot of heat. Okay, for instance, uh, if you heat up a spoon. Sure. Okay. It's going to stay hot for a little while. Right. Okay, and that's because it maintains that heat. It has a certain amount of heat capacity to it. Water has a huge heat capacity, much more than metals and things like that. Metals shed their heat very quickly to the surroundings. Water and, and liquids uh, like that uh, tend to have a large heat capacity, so they stay warm a long time. It takes a while for that heat to dissipate. So in this case, the hot pad or the, the hand warmer gets warm from instantly from, from all this heat being released, but it's trapped in, in the, the water that's inside here. Hmm. There's actually a lot of water in this. It's just trapped inside the crystals. So the, the water holds in that heat and it stays hot for a while. Just like if you were to boil a cup of water, it t it'll take a while. You know, if you have a, a, a hot water bottle, they stay warm for a long time. Right. Same principle. 
Okay. Very cool. It just it just takes a while. So yeah, the, these uh, uh, these super saturated solutions are are pretty cool. Um, it's how you make rock salt and things like that, right? You huh. make a, a, a nice saturated solution of sugar, and then eventually it, it forms a crystal around the around the string or whatever, and, and and you get that big crystal. It takes a lot longer than this, but it's the same principle. Very All right, cool. Jesse Miller, thanks for joining us this sure. morning for Chemist Corner. We'll be right back.